by 4 invertible matrix, a real matrix, which of the following is not necessarily true. Suppose you, you may don't know what is this basis and uh, what is uh, meaning of this null space or image of the transformation. Uh, you, you may not be know in the beginning, but uh, at least to read the question uh, fully, right. So here this A, A is an invertible matrix, order of A is 4, so this should be invertible and also which of the following is not necessarily true. So we are asked to find out which one is not true, right, which one is not true. Suppose you may not know the uh, explanation or uh, definitions for all the all other things. You just take one matrix satisfying given condition. So what is given? The matrix should be invertible, right? So simply I take A is equal to instead of A, just I take identity matrix of order 4, right? Identity matrix of order 4. So everyone knows that what is the definition of invertible uh, matrix? Real matrix means the entry should be real, you know. So I4 is nothing but the diagonal we have uh, four ones ones on the diagonal remaining place is zero the, so this is the notation for i4 so what is the determinant of this i4 we know one so determinant not equal to zero determinant not equal to zero means the matrix is invertible right and one more step is this is a um, diagonal matrix or uh, we may call it as a triangular matrix right what are the eigenvalues of um, diagonal matrix so simply they are diagonal entries simply they are diagonal entries so i take a equal to i4 which has uh, eigenvalues 1 1 1 are they distinct distinct means uh, different are they distinct are they different All are same, sir. Uh, all are same. By seeing this option, see option C, it is given that all are distinct, right? Distinct option, but we are getting same. So, this is the correct answer for this question. So, for a 4 by 4 invertible matrix, eigenvalues need not be distinct. We are asked to find out which of the following is not necessarily true. So, just we found this is part B question. So, simply one answer is enough. Okay, other options uh, I will say one by one. Uh, when we learn uh, remaining things, I will uh, tell you. Okay, so this is one question. Actually, here I want to tell you the um, concept or how to approach the problem instead of actually uh, what are these things. Even if you don't know what is basis, what is image, what is null space, you can attend this uh, question. That's what uh, I wanted to say. Right? Okay, we move to next question. Instead of this, uh, be this this one. See this question. Let L greater than or equal to 1 be a positive integer. What is the dimension of the R vector space of all polynomials in two variables? In two variables over R having a total degree of at most L. Right. Uh, some concept may we may not be familiar. Actually, I am uh, saying in that point of view, some concept may not be familiar. Here L is given uh, degree. Uh, we simply we studied in school. Suppose I take one uh, polynomial, one, uh, one um, polynomial in two variables. Just I am writing here one example. Maybe x y plus x square plus y square uh, plus five plus y or minus y any number, right? This is an example for a polynomial in two variables. What is the degree of this polynomial? Degree of this polynomial. Actually, we say total degree because here 1, here 1. So, the total degree is 2. Okay. So, the degree of the polynomial is 2. I consider one example. Here, this example, the degree of this polynomial is 2. Okay. We name it as L. So, L is nothing but this uh, degree okay here the number l is 2 right so consider any polynomial in two variables having degree at most 2 why it is at most 2 means uh, you can uh, say you can take constant also you can take constant also x term alone or x square, y square term alone y square term alone that's why we call it as at most l okay 
uh, what I want to do is just I am taking L equal to 2 case alone. Okay, don't see the problem in general case. It will confuse you. You cannot uh, find out the answer. You may not find out the answer uh, easily. So simply go to the simple case. Just I am taking L equal to even you can take L equal to 1 also because L greater than R equal to 1 is given. Okay. See, actually in the simple case itself, I complete this problem. Take L equal to 1. Right? Take L equal to 1. What is the general form of a polynomial in two variables having degree 1? General form. There should be only x term. Right? Maybe or 5x or in general ax. Right? There should be one y term. So, bx. Sorry, by. By. There should be a constant term. Right? This is a general form of a polynomial in two variables having degree at most 1. Am I right? At most 1. Actually, here the vector space is nothing but collection of these polynomials of the form. These polynomials with A, B, C are real numbers. With A, B, C are real numbers. Very simple thing. Uh, uh, think like uh, school children. To write like this, polynomial like this, what we need, generally we call it as x term, right? I need x term, right? I need y term and I need constant term. Instead of constant term, I put 1. Okay, 1 comma x comma y. This is called basis of the vector space, right? This is called basis of the vector space. With these uh, three, only x, y, I can write any polynomial, right? So, th that's why it is called basis. That means important, right? So, basis. How many elements are there in this basis? Three, sir. Uh, that is called dimension. That's all. Then we name it as dimension. Dimension is a number, not a set. Basis is a set, not a number. So, you should uh, uh, carefully uh, mention always basis is a set, not a number. Dimension is a number. Okay. By taking L equal to 1, the dimension is 3. Okay. I am going to check which option gives dimension 3. Just I am going to check which option gives. Actually, these are all dimension, right? <clears throat> dimension only asked. So, these options are uh, dimension only. So, put L equal to 1. So, what is first option? L equal to 1. So, L equal to 1 means L plus 1 is 2, right? Actually, we got 3. So, this option is eliminated. Wrong. Actually, uh, through example, you should eliminate. You should not confirm. Keep it in mind. In some problems, we can confirm itself. I will tell you. So, for now, don't confuse. By through, through example, just I am eliminating. I took L equal to 1. The dimension is 3. But in first option, the dimension is 2. So, I eliminate the first option. See the second option. L is 1. Substitute L equal to 1. So, 1 minus 1 is 0. So, it gives 0. But I need 3. So, this option is eliminated. Which implies, see the third option. Put L equal to 1. L equal to 1 means what do we get? 1, right? Put L equal to 1. 1 into 1 plus 1 divided by 2. So, we get 1. This option is also eliminated. So, from this itself, the correct answer is option 4. That's all. You can verify this. Put L equal to 1. What we get? 3, right? 1 plus 1, 2. 2 into 1 plus 2, so 3 divided by 2, you can cancel this to 3, that's all, 4. So, this is the very simple case, the least value of L itself 1, by taking the least value of L, we can complete the problem, that's all. So, think like this in exam, uh, don't try to uh, uh, solve the problem in a general way, it will uh, confuse you always. Any doubt from this? You may ask in Tamil also because language language should not be a barrier for learning. No problem. I will explain. Right. So this is what uh, the exam uh, um, or uh, CSR net exam committee wanted from the aspirants. Right. So um, creative thinking. Okay. Suppose. Uh, you may think that suppose L equal to 1 option gives uh, two options correct, right? Try to uh, solve by taking L equal to 2, right? This will eliminate many options. After you can confirm the answer, okay? 
by taking one example three options are eliminated so one option should be correct and also this uh, this is a, a part b question we know part b is single correct answer okay so three are eliminated means the remaining one should be the answer that's all actually this also even by taking its example itself you can confirm this problem this particular problem because uh, this is asked generally the result should be true for any value of l from one right for any l greater than or equal to one the result should be same so only one option is correct so we confirm it I told you in the beginning uh, by taking L equal to 2, try to solve this problem. L equal to 2. I took L equal to 1 itself. L equal to 2. Can anyone say L equal to 2 means uh, uh, what are the terms we need uh, to write a polynomial in two variables? L equal to 2 case. Can anyone say? Sir, A naught plus A1x. Uh, general format okay i need uh, okay. basis Actually, general form I, I, okay, okay okay yeah i am asking basis okay 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 1 x uh, very good. Uh, 1 x x y very good x y y only y only actually degree may be 2 also you can write x y also yes and x square y x square y means x square y what is the degree of the term x square y okay it will become three shall we take x square yeah yeah only x square yeah very good right y square y square that's all or we need another terms mm. right, right. Uh, there are uh, six elements so dimension in this case is six right dimension in this case is six substitute here and then you can check you can find out the answer put l equal to two and check which option gives the number six if it does not give the number 6, eliminate that options. Only option 4 gives, I think, only option 4 gives, uh, okay, uh, you put L equal to 2, first option 3, second option uh, 3 minus 1, 2, 4, third option L equal to 2 uh, gives uh, 3, 3 only, but only for option 4 gives 6. So, 4 is the correct answer. That's all. Thesser Suresh Maths Classes, TRBCSI, our net set maths coaching for admission contact 883-803-7215